here we have for sale our 2018 on a 68 plate Volkswagen Transport. So this is the T32 model, meaning it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight. This one has got the two litre TDI diesel engine producing 150 PS in this particular example, roughly 150 brake horsepower. This is uh, starlight blue metallic, a beautiful dark blue subtle uh, metallic. This is the long wheelbase Highline, what did start its life as a panel van, uh, but has gone through a conversion since. So what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a Volkswagen Transporter Highline of this age. And we'll also talk you through the fantastic conversion which has taken place in the rear of this van as well. So starting here then at the rear of the vehicle, we can see here that this one uh, is specced with a rear tailgate so tailgate meaning one door which comes up like so uh, and one, one of the first things which has been changed uh, and that has been changed to a glazed tailgate now so this has now had the rear window added here uh, among other windows as well uh, and you'll see why in just a second looking at the paintwork here to the rear of the vehicle to my eyes i believe this tailgate has been uh, repainted at some point in its life not a terrible job by any means but just to my sort of critical eye i believe at some point in time uh, that has been painted but it looks like they've got you know the right color match etc as well there's no um, sort of obvious signs of repair uh, but as I say if there's anything that I can see I will gladly point it out to you. On a highline then you've got a number of elements which come color coded that includes the bumpers so you've got the rear bumper the front bumper the mirror caps and also the door handles all around all come color coded in the body color which as I say in this case is starlight blue. You can also see as well that you get parking sensors as standard as well so you can see you've got rear parking sensors there nicely integrated into the bumper and we can also see here We've got a lovely rear bumper protector on top of here, a sort of carbon fibre effect rear bumper protector. Really does set it off very nicely and of course because it's such a high traffic area of items getting in and out of the back, it will stop any nasty scratches. In terms of condition of the rear bumper, uh, largely in very very good order. There's a couple of very minor marks as you can just see there by my finger, but all in all looking very nice indeed. Now then, if we open up the rear tailgate, as we're doing that, I can also show you this so under here, that is a reversing camera. I don't believe that's factory, I believe that's been added afterwards, not by ourselves, uh, but a nice feature to have at the rear of the vehicle. So for reversing, you've got your rear parking sensors and also the reversing camera. Now then, in the back, this is where things are very, very different uh, from just your standard van. So this has got a full width rib rock and roll bed. Now we are in uh, really direct sunlight here and you'll see this a lot better when we go around to the uh, one of the side loading doors. But as I say, a full width rib rock and roll bed. Rib is uh, probably the leading name in this type of bed and one of their key features is their versatility. So each one of the three sections, so you've got a section here at the back, there's one in the middle and then at the uh, front part there, each one of those you can uh, adjust individually. So if you want to, we've got this in this sort of flat position here, this rear section, uh, but if you wanted to get more storage here in the back, you can actually put this one in an upright position as well, so you've got maximum storage in the back. And so you can do the same with the front section there as well. In the back then as well, you can also see while we're here that we have got uh, full carpet lining in the rear of the vehicle uh, insulated as well behind there and then if we look at the headlining this one has got a fantastic suede headlining right the way through with some nice led uh, spotlights there as well as i mentioned some glass has been added so you can also see here that we've got glass to the rear quarter and also to the um to the side loading doors uh, i really like this uh, addition here to the rear quarter because the seats being the long wheelbase are set slightly further back it gives you nice visibility out of the side and then while we're down here as well you can also see that we've got the lovely Altro non-slip flooring really nice grippy flooring there so if you were to get um, you know if this were to get wet or anything as I say you're not going to be slipping around in the back so it's a really good hard wearing uh, floor and you can also see these lovely fascia plates as well uh, uh, which are actually in front and at the back of the bed nice satin black uh, fixings there and this gives you some access then underneath the seats for some extra storage there really really useful and as i say having that fascia plate there as well just really tidies it all up if we shut the tailgate on one other thing as i say, just like to show you here as i say um, carpeted inside the back of the tailgate but this is the placement for the table so the table slots nicely in there as well and you've got curtains as well on 
the tailgate just there. Moving then down the passenger side of the vehicle, and this is where, as I said, we're gonna have a look really nicely down the side of the van, looking very, very clean and tidy. Um, just trying to have a look here in the reflections for any dings or dents or anything like that which I can uh, see. But I must say it's looking exceptionally clean down here. As I say, we've got the glass as well in the upper panels just there. Now let's open the passenger side side loading door and this is where we can start to have a look at the configuration in the back of you, uh, having a look at this rock and roll bed. So as I say, rib bed, really nice as well. It's got the Samora trim which matches the trim of the front seat. You've got three headrests on here which are adjustable so you can pick those up and down. You have got Isofix compatibility there as, as well as you can see across the three uh, seats and as I say below here you've got the lovely fascia board in front which I say it's got these nice opening cupboards just there all three of those really really nice to see and this one is a twin side loading door model so you can actually get in from both sides and this has given us the opportunity to use this larger uh, central uh, removable table uh, which is finished as you can see here in a nice bamboo uh, finish I don't know if the camera will focus on that but a really nice finish there to the table and I say for your, you know, if you're away camping, absolutely ideal to have that. Also, as I say, we're looking at the headlining, and so you've got the LED lights there, you've got a light uh, switch just up there as well to control those, like so. And while we're in the back here as well, we can also show you the power converter. So this one has got a 230 volt power converter just there, so you can turn that on or off via this control panel. That then gives you your power for what's left on the leisure battery and that then powers this power bank here on the side so you've got a usb 12 volt socket and also a 230 volt three pin socket as well there which activates once you turn that power inverter on which i just showed you also as well while we're in the back you can see that this one is equipped with a lovely key ravans double swivel seat which just really opens up this space so sitting in the back of here i say if you've got uh, a guest or a partner uh, sat opposite you here you've got plenty of room as so you can occupy uh, and make use of the table as well and quite easy to use once you get used to it as a key ravans again another leading name there for this type of seat if we have a look as well well we're in the back of here i've got the service history for this vehicle so you can see there we've got two services which have been carried out first at 15,000 and then secondly at 27,000 miles lovely to see that there on the service history certificate also right shutting the side loading door we can continue to go around the outside of the vehicle so just having a look here in the front of the van here having a look at the floor all in absolutely fantastic order also the step just there looking really really clean and tidy indeed i say of course these seats do spin back around you can also see here that we've got the original leather wallet or the dashboard looking absolutely in fantastic order i say let's continue to go around the outside and take a further look mirror cap is in lovely condition the alloy wheels so the t32 one of the features of the t32 is they actually come with larger brakes so the t32 as i say refers to the um, gross vehicle weight of the vehicle so 3.2 tons this vehicle can be fully loaded because of that volkswagen upgrade the suspension they also upgrade the brakes and because they put larger brakes they couldn't fit the 16 inch um, what they call a clayton alloy over that larger brake so they upgraded the t32s to the 17 inch davenport alloy wheel which you can see here a really nice design uh, again i think just fits in uh, well with the rest of the styling on the vehicle i.e the color coded bumpers mirrors and door handles looking at the front of the vehicle then have a look at the bonnet a uh, couple of minor little stone chips as you can just see there above my finger i say the odd one or two dotted around the front but as i say absolutely lovely and you'll see in a second really nice mileage on this example having a look at the front bumper as well again just exactly what you'd expect really a couple of tiny little stone chips which have been neatly touched in in the correct color all in all looking very very sharp indeed there at the front and finally then while we're on the outside just looking here down the driver side of the vehicle the sun and this is one of the beauties of this color is in the sunlight direct sunlight like this it really makes the uh, the blue of uh, the paint really pop out but as you'll probably see as i say earlier in the video when we were on the other side in the in the shade 
it can almost be black. Um, it's just a really nice, subtle, classy colour. The only blemish that I can see on this side is just on this wheel arch here. You can see there is a blemish just there on the wheel arch. That's not rust or anything, that is uh, a chip, which, as I say, has been touched in, again, neatly in the correct colour. Not massively noticeable, but as I mentioned earlier, if there's anything I can see, I will gladly point it out to you. Opening up the other side loading door then, as I say, it's a really unique spec on this example. So long wheelbase, twin side loading door, 150 uh, PS and a T32. So that's a really, really unique example. You can see here, step, floor, all absolutely stunning in the back of you. And I really like that feature that you're able to access the rear from both sides. If we open up the driver's door then, we can finish here in the cab having a look at some of the features you get on the Highline model. So driver's seat, you've got height adjustability here on the driver's seat. You've got twin adjustable armrests. So you can use this little dial underneath there to set those to your desired height. So you can get in a really nice, comfortable seating position. Electric windows, electric heated mirrors. This one has actually got the optional extra of folding mirrors, which wouldn't come as standard. So very nice to see that. Auto-activated lights, you also get auto-activated wipers. That's again, all part of the Highline spec. And you can see this one comes with two full uh, remote keys as well. Leather, multifunctioning steering wheel on the left hand side, then you've got your cruise control settings just there. And on the right hand side, you've got your onboard computer controls and you can answer and hang up the phone. 30,566 miles recorded. So really nice low mileage on this example. If we jump in, I will start the vehicle and show you a bit more of the spec here. So in the center, just to show you as well, there is no there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard when the vehicle is started. It's all idling exactly as it should be. If we look into the center then, some, again, really unusual spec to see here. So this one has got the larger screen because it has got satellite navigation. So discover media nav, a very, very nice option to have on one of these. If we go onto the radio page as well, you can see that we have got DAB radio on here, the app connect, you can um, have this uh, activated by a Volkswagen dealer. They will charge you a fee, of course, to do that. But if that's something that you want, you've got the larger screen there ready to do it. That doesn't, as I say, none of that comes as standard, the larger screen, the satellite navigation. So it's very nice to see that. Standard specification then down here. So air conditioning comes as standard. You've also got a heated windscreen, a USB and a 12, uh, sorry, an AUX port just over there. Down below then, we've got a nice six-speed manual gearbox to go along with that 150 PS engine. So just to summarize then, this is a one owner from new Volkswagen Transporter. It's the T6 model, uh, which is the basically the sixth generation of Transporter. That's the, the shape, uh, T32, so 3.2 tons gross vehicle weight, two liter TDI, Diesel Euro 6 engine producing 150 PS. It's the long wheelbase, high line, what was a panel van, now converted into a lovely day van uh, slash camper van by our good friends over at uh, T1 Conversions. They've done a fabulous job as always. They've done a lot of these types of conversions for us in the past. They do a, just a remarkable job. We've got the uh, opening side windows. That's one of the key features that actually I haven't mentioned is the glass which is in the side here is uh, camper glass uh, the, uh, that, that's the brand is uh, is camper glass and they do this aftermarket flush opening side window and that's on both sides a really really nice feature there uh, we've got the rear quarter glass as well and of course the tailgate glass the full rib uh, rock and roll bed absolutely brilliant brand for the rock and roll bed you couldn't be in safer hands they're really uh, of course all m1 crash tested etc and if you look rib up online uh, a very very good bed to put in this type of vehicle. We've got the power inverter in there, the suede headlining, carpet lining, and the swivel uh, front seats as well. Absolutely fantastic combination, a really, really appealing example in my opinion. If you'd like to see the full advert, please head over to our website, which you can see here, bridgenvans.co.uk. We will also welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed just there. On the website, you will find the full advert for this vehicle. If you haven't seen it already, that includes, uh, of course, the photography, the price, and the description of this van. We can take cars or vans in part exchange. We can also arrange delivery nationwide and arrange finance at very competitive rates. Thank you very much for watching.